My name is Vivian and I'm a lecturer on a research and teaching contract at the University of Sheffield. So my research with salivary gland cancer started during my PhD. So at the University of Michigan, they have two groups there that work with salivary gland uh, cancers, uh, led by Dr. Jacques Knorr and Dr. Rogério Castillo. Uh, and they have access to, they developed actually, uh, tumor cell lines of mucoepidermoid carcinoma, which is a type of salivary gland cancer. So I started my research on salivary gland cancer working with this type of tumor, mucoepidermoid carcinoma. We were looking at uh, different ways that these cells are resistant to radiotherapy and conventional chemotherapy using cisplatin. And that's what was my uh, PhD thesis about. A lot of the adenoid cystic carcinoma tumors, they are driven by uh, chromosomal translocation. So we have two different chromosomes that come together and they will uh, have this new fusion gene, which we called in uh, the name in adenoid cystic carcinoma is the MEB and FIB fusion gene. And my research at the moment try to understand when this fusion protein that's, that form uh, from this translocation is present on normal cell, normal salivary gland cells, what does it cause? So the way we try to analyze this is the surgeons at the University of Sheffield, when they remove uh, tumors or they have operations that comprise normal salivary glands, they give us, the researchers, a uh, part of this uh, gland, this normal gland, and we grow the normal cells in the lab. And now we, what we're trying to do is to integrate this new fusion gene in the normal cells and see how they behave in, in the lab. So it's a very uh, basic research project, but the idea is to see if by understanding what is changed on the cells and also, for example, what proteins and other pathways are interacting with this specific uh, fusion gene that we are looking at, we can maybe find new therapeutic targets. So it has a, a, a potential to maybe translate some of the results to the clinic in the future as we advance the, the research. So today I'm participating in the Salivary Gland Cancer UK event and this experience for me it's been very very powerful because I'm having the opportunity to hear from the patients their history, uh, their pathway from diagnosis, sometimes late diagnosis, so how did all the things that they went through impact the their life and the treatment that they received, uh, all the uncertainties that they face. Uh, and this is very powerful for me because for the past maybe three years, I've been kind of closed inside a research lab, working with pipettes, with cells, with DNA, with proteins, with antibodies. And uh, a lot of times things don't go well or as we expect on research so we have to repeat a lot of times our experiments the things that we are expecting doesn't uh, go as we anticipated and a lot of times the motivation just goes really low um, so being here today uh, i can't wait to go back to the lab monday and you know get going because i can see uh, the impact that this research can have in so many lives i mean even though it's a rare cancer in this room is 100 percent you know so for me it, it 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 is a very powerful experience and i'm really glad i, I had the opportunity to, to participate in this event